Right, first video in a while. This is not my bug out vehicle. This is not my uh, stealth camper. This is not, what do they call these things? Uh, uh, tiny home. What this is, a work vehicle. All right. Got it used. It's only 10 foot by 6. But somebody, well, the person I got it for, was using it as a camper. But I looked at campers. And there was none of them met my requirements. And if things go good, I will probably buy another one of these, but a little bigger, and do it myself. Because my requirements for a dog show trailer was something I could stand up in, I could take a nap in, and, or, you know, sleep in. No shower, no toilet necessary. Every dog show I've been to, they always have RV hookups and showers and stuff like that at the shows. There's no need for any of that. What I was looking for, and what no manufacturer makes, as far as RVs goes, they, they make them all for just what it is, an RV. Nobody makes a work, or I would call it a transient worker vehicle. This is a work vehicle. Now, the only thing I'm going to change to this, I'm going to yank that carpet out and put in an oleum. And I'm going to replace that with uh, one of those, uh, they, kind of like the Fantastic Fan, but they got a thing that, you know, you can even let it run when the, when it's raining. And that's not, be, that's just to keep the air flowing because unless I'm going to Florida or something, yeah, I don't need it. What I needed was a place to stand up and change from a suit and tie to my standard, you know, standard running around clothes. Because at a dog show, believe it or not, you got to wear a suit and tie. Yep, that's right, folks. Believe it or not, I have to wear a suit and tie for a few minutes at a time. But this is for a dog show. And... When I saw this, this feller had converted it. Let me show you some of the stuff that he had already converted, which saved me a ton of money because this has some capabilities. Now, I do realize I got it dirt cheap, so I have to replace the batteries. But, I mean, you look at this, uh, this just this gizmo stuff right here. If I would have went out and bought that separately and installed it myself, it's a couple of hundred bucks right there, you know? Because I am going to have to replace the batteries. It has two 12 volt batteries. Whoever had it before was using it as a camper. I don't know why. I, I, I don't think I'll need that unless I haven't even looked. It's got a, uh, what do you call it, a port. I can hook my laptop up to it. It does have an air conditioner in it. So, technically, I mean, that is like a 6,000 BTU air conditioner. Only pulls about 500 watts. So, you know, uh, I got a 100-foot extension cord I got from Walmart. I can plug this thing in as long as it runs uh, my CPAP machine. Yeah, even though I've lost weight and I've had to go down a few numbers on my CPAP, I still have to do it. So, technically, this right here, the most I'm going to stay in it is three days. It's lightweight. Uh, like say it, so three days, uh, let's say I go leave out on a Friday morning. I, this extends my range to like 500 miles. Let's just use 500. So I, I drive out, I spend the night, you know, cause the miniature pinchers, they, uh, usually show in the mornings. So 8 a.m., I put on my bunkie suit, go in, walk the dog around in a circle, all right, and I'm done by, you know, 10 o'clock. So I come back out, change my clothes, and seeing that this is a trailer, if I want to go get something to eat or go take a shower, I just get in the truck and, and go. 
and this the truck pulls this i mean look this the, that truck pulls this like is nothing even back there so it th this trailer doesn't even uh hardly cuts down on my gas mileage i mean i might lose a mile per gallon with that that's one of them 6.4 liter hemi heavy duty 2500 trucks so you know it it yanks this trailer like nothing the second reason i wanted this trailer is because it was ready made for that see that there's nothing on it so when i'm going down the road this is going to be one giant billboard that's right and i'm going to get some science i could put over it, it says erie insurance sucks too so <laughs> so this will be you know a uh a little trucker kennel advertisement thing so it's gonna i see somebody already wired it up it's already been wired up and hey actually that ac right there that that generator's too big i could get one of them little 2000 watt generators and run it run that if i needed to but you know seeing as i already have that i guess i'll use it but uh yeah i found this it's like the man upstairs wants me to do dog shows because he's given me all the tools i've got uh one thing i don't like is that my l-shaped tank doesn't fit in the back of this little short bed truck but this is what was on the lot and i got it for eleven thousand dollars under sticker price so i mean i have to take the good with the bad so i guess i could get a 50 gallon tank and fit in there but my tank that was in that truck yeah, will not fit in the bed of this one so anyhow but my toolbox will fit in there so there we go there's the work vehicle this is totally a work vehicle don't get me wrong if i needed to go stay somewhere at somebody's house i could I mean, uh, like I say, it's a, uh, that little AC allows me, I could run off that extension cord and not even get the extension cord warm. But let's say I wanted to go to a place and just boondock or just, let's say I'm just pulling up. Once I replace that with a 12 volt exhaust fan, uh, those little batteries right there, those two, uh, at 200 amp hours, so. You figure if I only run them halfway down, it gives me 100 amp hours to play with. My breathing machine and that little fan is not going to pull that battery down. And unless it's mid-August or something, hey, it still cools off at night. Another reason this is all white, it's insulated. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a place to uh, go to a dog show. I mean, hotel rooms are... Hey, time you had tax and everything, that's a hundred bucks a night. So in less than uh less than twenty nights, this thing here is done paid for itself. Or should I say maybe uh less than ten dog shows. If I go to let if I go to ten dog shows and drag this now, I am not going to dog shows that are more than five hundred miles. I just now if it if I can't go out and a day's drive we might say 600 miles that's about it but i have a little bit of improving to do on this but not much it's got all new flooring in it i mean whoever did the work on here did did a fairly good job i mean it's not spectacular i mean there was a place up there where whoever had this put a motorcycle in it and this bed will fold up but i'll never fold it up because I'll just stick some tubs underneath of it and uh, for some storage and I will get some of these. The nice thing about miniature pinchers is I get some more of those just to wrap around the outside of it here and the underside of the trailer will become the doghouse. I mean, hey, there's plenty of room underneath that thing right there uh, for a miniature pincher to call it home. They would they would be perfectly happy so all i got to do is run that caging around the outside of it and it'd be fine 
Now, the solar panel, I could put a couple of solar panels on here and it'll run my CPAP machine indefinitely, you know, CPAP and a, I wouldn't need to plug in at all. Say maybe a couple of solar panels or one big solar panel. And uh, of course it wouldn't run the air conditioner, but it'd run the CPAP machine and exhaust fan. Uh, I can always poop out in the woods, pooping and pee in the woods. So it's not really a, a woman friendly camper, or I wouldn't even call this a camper. This is strictly a work vehicle. One of the reasons I wanted to bring this uh, to mind for like people that uh, travel, if you got uh, to travel for work, like construction workers, and you only get to go home on the weekends, why, why pay for a hotel? You could get one of these things right here, insulate it, and uh, hey, you can sleep in it. And if, you know, if I get a bigger one, I would get a t dual axle and maybe four foot bigger. That would give me room to put a full-size residential shower in it. And let me tell you, I'm not putting no gray water tank on it because, what you know what, shower water can drizzle out on the ground. It's not like you need a gray water tank for taking a shower. So, you know, if I was to get another one of these, I wouldn't even buy an RV. Because uh, they don't make an RV for a worker. Uh, you know, if you really wanted to luxury it, get a 7 foot by 16 foot one of these, dual axle. That way you could put, heck, 100 gallons worth of fresh water on it. You know, poop and pee out in the woods. Don't worry about black water. And, uh, you know, you, you work, take a shower, little little short showers, or you surely your job site has water on it. You know, you just hook up an instant-on water heater and take your showers and uh, bring your clothes home on the weekend, you know. So, yeah, if this, this uh, they don't make anything for a, uh, I would call it a worker, a, a transient worker. I consider this a a work vehicle. This is not uh, this is not an RV. I mean, I do see videos all over YouTube where people live in these little things, but you know what? I guess you could if uh, shit hit the fan. But way well, I figure it, I can may put ham radio up instead of that antenna. I can put a little ham antenna on this and and run an all mode all band. Uh, transmitter it could it could double up as a uh, disaster communications thing if i needed it to but this is uh, a work vehicle and uh, advertising vehicle so if you see somebody going down the road with one of these being pulled by one of those and it has little trucker kennel on it uh you know you can turn on channel 19 and talk to me that's right, it's going to say Little Trucker Kennel, you know, bread, dog's bread for the long haul. And uh, that's where I'm at now. Of course, you know, everybody's going to say, well, it's a heck of a bug out vehicle. Eh, worst case scenario, if I was going to use bug out vehicle, see that right out there, that trailer? I could actually put the horse in it. That's right, Cleo could go in that and actually... I got a little message for Erie Insurance, so I had it. Now that I've got that, she, my mule, as they like to call it, Erie likes to call her a mule, my mule can now pull that in like Nashville. Yep, we'll be pulling that in Nashville and maybe uh, Knoxville. You wouldn't mind, would you, Cleo? Would you pull me around the big cities? Pull, pull the eerie suck sign around in the big city. Yep. And I don't mind putting this out now because guess what? All the money's gone. No matter what Erie does, they can't take it back because I've got it all dispersed. All the money has been dispersed where nobody can put their little grubby hands on it. <laughs> yep. That's right. Uh, technically... On paper, I don't even own anything. <laughs> so, you know what? If they wanted to sue me, but I don't know what they could sue me for because I'd be telling the truth. First off, in order to sue somebody to make them shut up, 
they got to prove I'm lying. And I've got a jury of 12 that proves that they slander customers, which is me. And if you look on, uh, if you do a Google search for them, you'll find that they do it to many other customers too. Anyway, let's go back to the trailer. So that right there will get me around to all the dog shows. Now, if it's, if it's something that's under 70 miles, I'll probably do that. Or if I have enough points or something set up, you know, I can get a Motel 6. I have enough Windham points, uh, you know, where I get a free hotel room. Yeah, I'll use that. Or I might use that for uh, going over a thousand miles, you know, where I don't want to pull that in that. There, there's a point to where 16, 17 miles a gallon gets to where the hotel room would be just as cheap as this. But within a 500 mile range, yeah, this right here will definitely save me money, especially when we're going like for three days and stuff like that. So, oh, and some of my old truck driving stuff still works in here. Let me tell you what, this thing is insulated well enough. I stayed the night in here when it was like below freezing. That, I, with that running, I have to open that vent. It is too hot in here with that little buddy heater. Well, that's the buddy. It's not even the big buddy. That will burn me out on low power. So I'm thinking I'm going to get a thermostatically controlled uh, electric heater. So, like I say, at most places I can just plug in a little extension cord and uh, either run that or whatever you know of course i can get wi-fi just uh, i've got a big high gain wi-fi antenna but it's a work in progress i mean whoever had this before i think they smoked i can still smell the smoke in it but i've run an ozone generator in here for a couple of days i might run it a couple of more days and uh get that old smoke smell out of it and uh, like i say get rid of this carpet carpet's got to go Carpet cannot happen when you have animals. So anyway, that's what I've been doing, folks. I've been going to dog shows, and here's the here's the nice part. I've been winning. Got a whole wall full of ribbons. <laughs> Abner, little Abner, is now only uh, four. No, he's uh, nine points. He only nine points away from having his grand championship. So. Uh, if y'all wondering what I've been doing, this is it. Uh, and look for me and Cleo be going down through the local city, uh, pulling the eerie suck sign. Now that uh, now that I've got all the money disposed of, or invested and buried. That's right. When I die, y'all have fun trying to find all my all my coinage. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.